Aloha and welcome to Eat and Be Eaten. In this video, we are going to talk about an early warning sign in your citrus trees, and that is the leaves starting to curl. I am going to go through five major reasons why this may be happening to your tree and what you can do about it. The tree I'm going to be looking at and showing you mostly today is this grapefruit tree. It is not a white or a pink grapefruit, but a ruby red. And you can see, despite the stress, it has some large grapefruits on it. Um, ruby red, by the way, are a vibrant colored interior, really sweet and delicious. There's also a star ruby, which I haven't tried, but this is a ruby red grapefruit. Has some big, healthy grapefruits on it, but as you'll see here, the leaves of the tree uh, are un undergoing a lot of problems. I am also going to show you right here a kaffir lime tree. This is the type of lime they use the leaves and the zest and the rind of the peel for green curries and Thai cooking. And you can see right here how bad the curling is on these leaves. These are older leaves, and then right here, even younger leaves coming in also have curling going on, which means that the problem is down in the roots already if that young growth is turning out like that. So that means we need to get on it. So here we are back to the grapefruit. And the first thing you'll notice in addition to some leaf curling and some discoloration here and there is that the entire tree is has leaves full of holes. And when you have this buckshot pattern where the leaves are full of holes, that is a sure sign of insect infestation. Now when it comes to leaf curling in citrus trees, a lot of times it'll be aphids that are causing problems as far as pests go, but in this case, um, this type of leaf eating, I am pretty certain is the result of Chinese rose beetles. They also like to feed on cacao, and we have some cacao trees nearby that also have this pattern. Um, and so the best thing to do for Chinese rose beetles is just to go out at night. You'll find them on the undersides of the leaves eating. You just got to have gloves on, pick them off, throw them in a little bucket of soapy water, and they'll drown. The other most common reason why leaves are curling is most likely either too little or too much water. So if you're experiencing a period of drought, that can cause stress on the tree, which will result in the leaves curling. But also, if you, the tree is getting too much wetness, like overwatering, that can have the same impact. And we have had our wettest winter here in about a decade, and so I think all the wet is also contributing um, to the problems for this grapefruit tree. In addition to insects and either too much or too little water, the other main reason, the fourth main reason why uh, your leaves might be curling is nutrient deficiencies. So citrus trees need a lot of calcium, iron, and magnesium. And if they don't have enough of those, then you can get not only curling, but also the yellowing of the leaves. And so adding some kind of agricultural lime is a great thing to do at least once a year for all your citrus trees. Adding fish emulsion or seaweed also really helps the soil for citrus trees. And if none of those top four reasons the overwatering, the underwatering, the pests, or the nutrient deficiencies, if none of those seem to be the issue, then it could be that the lime tree or the lemon tree or the grapefruit tree, whatever citrus tree you're dealing with, um, is suffering from some kind of tree disease. So these are usually fungal or bacterial diseases. Uh, one example I made a video on recently was sooty mold fungus. This is a buildup of honeydew from aphids. They leave it, it's their, their waste. And so what you got to do, you can just rub it off with soap and water, um, but it will cause a, a black sheet over the leaves, which will make the tree not able to photosynthesize, and then it can't get the nutrients it needs from the sun. Um, so some type of disease like that. However, if that's going on, it's probably already the case that your tree is stressed due to too much water, too little water, or a nutrient deficiency, right? Same thing with the insects. They come in when those other issues are present. Um, the good news for citrus trees, the longer they're in the ground and growing and the bigger they get, the more resistant and hardy they become. So this grapefruit, even though it does have some issues, it's big enough now that it's going to weather the storm. I just need to get those Chinese rose beetles off of there and probably will give it a hit of wood ashes um, and then it's going to be good to go. 
So those are the top five reasons why your citrus trees may be experiencing leaf curling. If you want to see a video all about yellowing leaves on citrus and what to do about it, you can click the link. Um, if you enjoy this content, you want to see more gardening in the orchard, growing plants tips from us, you can subscribe to the channel. Please leave in the comments if you have any other suggestions about this issue. We are Eden Be Eaten Hawaii, and we will see you next time. Aloha.